Welcome to Jacob Titzer Outdoors. That's a fake forest. And today, we are having part one of a two-part series on the Eureka Apollo 2 tent. And in today's episode, we'll be pitching the tent. Stick with me. You're going to want to take your Apollo 2 backpacking tent from the back. And lay it out according to the plans you'll need to properly pitch the tent. For step two, after taking the tent out of the bag, as in step one, you want to make sure you have the bag itself, the tent poles, the tent stakes, as well as the tarp and the tent properly laid out. So after you have your tarp and your tent laid out, it's time to start putting the foundation for actually pitching the tent. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your tarp and lay it out. The tarp ensures that the tent will not touch the ground and absorb moisture from the ground when you're sleeping, so it is very important to have the tarp cover the ground properly with no creases. Secondly, you're going to want to take your tent and look for the end that has the door because this end of the tip tarp is, is slightly bigger. So, as I said before, this side of the tarp is bigger than this side. So you want to make sure that the door of the tent goes over to this area. This is for proper coverage of the tent on the ground. Make sure you have the tent nice and even on the ground. Make sure that when you have it spread out, there are no lumps. Make sure, you, know, you want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the tent, any signs of mildew or tears at the stage, so you don't have to pitch your tent and fix it. The next step involves staking the tent to the ground with your metal stakes. Since we're inside, uh, we can't use metal stakes, but in this, but if you were outside, you want to make sure you use a mallet, never your foot, and hammer the stakes in at a 45 degree angle. This ensures a better anchoring point. But since we're inside, we're going to substitute stakes with duct tape. And with this, you want to make sure that all corners, four corners of the tent are snugly secured. Make sure that there are no creases in the floor. You want as much floor space as possible in your tent. So you pull it tight, make sure it's snug, put a stake down. And on the final corner, pull it tight once more, put your stake down, and you're ready to move on to the next step. Now that we have our stakes in the ground, it's time to move on to the next step, which is constructing the poles. The poles add rigidity to the tent, and they're an easy construction. They come like this, and all you have to do is move it up and make sure that they slide in snugly. You don't want to snap them together because it could cause damage to the poles. So after this, you're ready to move on to the next step. The next step after constructing your poles is to create the dome. First, you want to lay your poles in this X-like fashion. Next, you want to take the pole ends, there will be a little groove, and you want to fit it into the grommet on the strap. Walk across the tent to the other side, arch the pole, and put it in the grommet on the other side. Lay it over. Take the second pole, do the same, put it in the ground on the strap. Take the other end, go up in the dome, place it in the ground on the other strap. And then lay it over. And this will become the dome. The next step is to construct the dome using the tent clips. What you want to do is take your poles that you constructed in the last step and take them up. Next, you want to take the clips that are located on the tent. First, clip this side first. Then take the other pole and clip it. So now this ensures that your dome is sturdy and you want to finish the rest. Working around as you get higher.
have the completed dome. So now we've got our dome up, we're almost done with the tent, but there's one last crucial step that is necessary if you want to get a good night's sleep. You want to make sure that your canopy here is fully extended. You would do this normally with the stakes, but once again, you can cut tape. So you want to pull this tight, you want to pull this taut here, and this is for your backpacks, your shoes, and things like that. You want to stake it down to the ground. And this provides more room for your things. Now secondly, when I talked about getting a good night's sleep, this tent does not have a rain fly because the tent is the rain fly. So ventilation is crucial here. So there are side vents on the sides that you want to make sure are extended fully. This allows the cool air from the ground to penetrate into the tent and escape to the top vent. Now it's crucial to have the tent flaps open because as a human being, you probably spend oh, roughly around a pint of water a night. So if you don't do this, your whole inside of your tent is going to be coated with water. Well, there you have it. You now have a Eureka Apollo 2 constructed tent. Thanks for watching Jacob Tinsler Outdoors, and I'll catch you on the trails. Mm -hmm.